Welcome to our Energy Connect studio at Adipet 2022. I'm delighted to have sitting next to me Emmanuel Prade, VP um, CO2 Customer Line, One Tech Total Energies. Correct. Thank you so much for joining me. Total Energies targets for methane reduction. Can you talk more a bit about it and what your tar what your target is? Yeah. Okay. So uh, Total Energies, we've been you know struggling against methane for yeah. years. Uh, we've reduced our methane emissions on the operated assets by 50% in only 10 years. Okay. Okay. And now we are targeting to reduce it by 50% again by 2025 and by 80% by 2030 compared to 2020. So you can see this big shift and yeah. really the target is to eliminate methane out of our operations. You certainly feel that that conversation of complete elimination is, you know, is it in the industry. And um, two, two points, I mean, how much is technology deployment vital to meet these targets? Well, what it is about methane is nobody really knows how much methane there is. I mean, qualification yeah. technologies are still yeah. evolving. Um, and in our case, we have been developing uh, together with the CNRS, which is mm -hmm. a university research center, a dual sensor, which okay. is able to uh, monitor at the same time methane and CO2. What that does to us is uh, give us the ability to determine how much flaring efficiency there is, because there is a lot of methane emissions yeah. through the flares. And we have found out actually that the uh, destruction factor is close, if not better than 98%, which is what the industry benchmark is currently. So we are hopeful to use, continue using this technology. We deploy it on all our assets in okay. 2022. And uh, the intention is to deploy it further on non-operated assets in what? order to expand this understanding of the flaring efficiency, but also to map all our methane emissions. So that's the starting point for reduction in order to first assess whether we forgot any emissions yep. and if we got them all uh, basically identified or not. And on the sort of topic of you know, industry collaboration, I mean, how important is that, the sort of different bodies all to, to meet these, these targets? Well, again, I mean, there is, not a unique operate, operator emissions. I mean, it's all about operators and the industry as a whole. So our intention is to influence. Mm -hmm. uh, we do that through several media. We have we are partnering in uh, non-operated assets. Yep. So we struggle and we strive in order for our operators, fellow operators to collaborate to some platforms that we advocate for. One good example is OGMP 2.0, yep. Oil and Gas Methane Partnership. Yep. Uh, I think uh, their report is out today. They have a yearly report. So uh, please check out on the report. You'll see that we got granted with a, a gold standard. Uh, several other operators got this standard as well. And what we ambition and what we envision is that the entire industry collaborates in order to yeah. get this standard uh, granted. Uh, for the years to come and therefore eliminate methane as a whole. Yeah, I saw that today and um, yeah, well, congratulations on that. And uh, within Total Energies, what's your general carbon footprint reduction program, you know, across the whole company? You're talking about methane, but other sort of programs you're working on. Okay, uh, well, I mean, if we talk about uh, OneTech, which is the, uh, basically the branch I belong to, which is covering all the branches of Total okay. Energy, uh, as far as CO2 reduction is concerned, we have quite a bit. Uh, uh, we are very active on several branches, of course, and several sources. Yep. I can name a few, but it's mostly scope one and two that yep. we are worried about uh, to start with. Uh, so methane is one of the scope one, but it's about 10% in our case of our scope one and two emissions. Uh, if you want to really act on those emissions, you need to first eliminate the flaring, yeah. which is significant part, still 20 to 25% of our operated scope one and two emissions. Then the fuel gas is really the battle that we have to face. Currently, 55% of our scope one and two emissions are related to fuel gas power yeah. generation. So it's all about electrification with renewable that is coming down the line. Uh, and last but not least, we have the liquid fuel, which is more anecdotic, but which is about logistics, vessels, trucks uh, mm. conveying our operation and there again we have some battery for example electrical powered vehicles that will help us achieve the reduction that we we, we need we strive to achieve 40 percent reduction by 
2030 yep. on all these scope one and two operate seed emissions. Yeah. You're going to have a busy time ahead, so working all these targets. And you said you're working across all the industries within Total Energy. So that's, yeah, makes your job quite active. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there is not such a day that uh, we're <laughs> not active. Uh, I forgot to mention also that, you know, we are working on our energy mix. Yeah. It's not only focusing on scope one and two, knowing that scope three is 90% of the emissions. Of course, we have to shift to a more uh, sustainable energy mix. And that we are working at, at one take two, uh, working with uh, wind, okay. floating wind, and also uh, solar in order to mm. basically uh, shift this energy mix towards more sustainable mixes. And also promoting the gas as a transition energy yeah. to shift the coal because coal is still responsible yeah. for a big, significant amount of emissions worldwide. And we believe gas is a good energy transition with twice as less emissions than coal. So really, that's where we, we struggle to and we, yeah. we strive to, to get this working along the lines of our commitment. Yeah. And obviously we're here at Adipec just before we go. Um, what was the significance of having the second report of um, UN OGM P2 announced here? And obviously the Middle East and the region are really sort of pushing the sort of decarbonization net zero element here. Yeah, the Middle East is a strategic place for total energies and it is for the energy landscape uh, entirely. So it's very good news. I believe that uh, we see such uh, an engagement from, uh, from the neighboring countries, uh, from the MENA countries, from uh, uh, the national companies, we heard uh, Saudi Aramco, we heard uh, Adnok today being very committed and I think this is excellent news. Those people are our partners. Uh, if, we, if it was not for them, we would really strive to achieve this as an industry. So we need them on board. Yeah. And now the uh, OGMP, Oil and Gas Methane Partnership, is just a, a very nice toolkit to help us achieve this methane reduction objective because it gives us a unique methodology that we can all uh, adhere to and yeah, share fun. together. Brilliant. Manuel, I really appreciate giving me time today and uh, thanks for the conversation. Thank you very much. Happy to talk to you to get today and hopefully uh, we'll get more of that soon. We'll, we'll do. Thank you. Thank you.